Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. 613 Thursday morning. Great to have you alongside. I'm going to skip ahead with this forecast real quick to Valentine's Day. This coming Tuesday, it looks pretty handsome if you're doing the uh, lunch date or dinner date thing on Valentine's Day proper. In between now and then, a lot of twists and turns. In temperatures, for one, these are overnight and morning lows. Not that low tonight. A front will be bringing the numbers back to some semblance of normalcy for February over the weekend. Highs, too, flying way high today. We're getting close to a record of 77, so at least be in the neighborhood and then more seasonable. And this will come with a protracted period of rain chances. A small one today, if you want to be on the absolute safe side, you tote the umbrella, uh, but better chances to need to call the rain gear into service for the likes of tomorrow and much of the weekend, I'm afraid. Let's take you through some of that with future radar hour by hour, arbitrarily starting 5 p.m. today. So here's that stray shower suggestion locally and regionally. Rain system, frontal system digs in a little better by tomorrow evening. So if you have plans, rain gear, a good idea. And then the system kind of reinvents itself as some upper level energy cut off from the main jet stream flow. So it's not a speedy system. This upper level energy will get the, the system to kind of hang up and continue to produce rain locally and regionally Saturday into Saturday night. The back edge of that incorporated into Super Bowl Sunday with some snow in the elevations to the west. That's future radar. This is actual radar suggestive of these prefrontal stray showers you see in the coastal waters and on down to the South Carolina low country. That'll be about all the drama we get rain wise today. It'll be a stray shower as mentioned. Let's get you outside with your West Shore home. First alert sky cam from downtown Wilmington. The view from the Murkison building offers brightening skies and some of that patchy fog that we've been talking about. A little ribbon of fog on the horizon as we're looking in the direction of southeast, so maybe out toward Pine Valley. It's a neighborhood to neighborhood thing, but where it does put the clamps down, it does reduce visibility to a quarter mile. That'll cost you a few extra minutes. Temperatures, inklings of flying high, 40s and 50s. Remember a couple of mornings ago we had 30s. So on the mainland, deep 70s today, at least upper 60s and lower 70s for the beaches. As we open up your saltwater boards, we give a nod to surf temperatures. They'll be like February in the lower and middle 50s. Upcoming high tides on your screen include one in the 9 o'clock hour of this morning for east and south facing beaches. And Kim, I would expect some marine advisories over the next couple of days, but today winds and waves just below threshold. Back to you.